uh, Institute of Earth Science, also in, in Santiago, in, in Spain. Uh, the main goal of this work was to uh, analyze uh, through some data modeling and visual analytic uh, tools and methodologies some work that we have uh, in archaeological and anthropological research in Brazil during the Brazilian uh, military uh, dictatorship. Uh, and specifically in Sao Paulo. I'm trying to go deeper into the data in order to see uh, with other eyes this, this data. So, um, only taking Sao Paulo City as an example, uh, we have uh, that according to interviews with great diggers and investigators, uh, around 2,000 people in a, in a mass grave. Okay, and uh, archaeologists are very interested in working on these complex areas in the present, in archaeology. Uh, archaeology of the present or something like that, and in this kind of domains. But uh, according to forensic investigations on health uh, records, there are only 37 political disappeared people that are in this mass grave, only in Sao Paulo. Okay, so what happens with the rest of people who are not considered political disappearance? Uh, and uh, since the 90s, only five were identified, uh, and we have a lot of data uh, talking about them. So we try to work into this data, okay? Uh, uh, other issue is that the, the Brazilian um, dictatorship was especially cruel with minority uh, and cultural groups. So it's not only people that are uh, directly engaged with the conflict, like guerrilleros or something like that. It's also people from uh, these minor uh, areas, rural areas, and this kind of, of people, okay? Um, so uh, the, the violence of the Brazilian state in, in that period, uh, you can see right now. So for instance, we, we can see about the, the grace uh, for uh, who have some friends or that could afford it. And you have the mass grave right now with this uh, anonymously worried people that we don't know anything about it. And also the practice, uh, malpractice with this kind of bodies are unbelievable in some boxes. and so it's quite hard work for archaeologists and anthropologists, okay? Uh, so how it's possible to materialize these precursors of life at the moment of death, and how these repression practices are reflected in our data? Is it possible to go deeper, so, uh, visually speaking, uh, in order to see what happens there? We can see here an example of uh, some forms that uh, are covered about these uh, disappearance cases. And uh, we can see that, for instance, the doctors are seeing reports with information of the gender, age, uh, the historical position of the body when it uh, was found, the clothes of the people, and this kind of uh, data that we have. So our idea was to uh, um, modeling from an archaeological perspective almost 3,000 uh, missing person cases and trying to uh, create some dashboard using visual analytics uh, uh, Representation, graphic representation, in order to see if there are some data patterns, and most important for us, what kind of represent practices we can uh, find on this data. Okay, uh, to do it, we use uh, common uh, language, modern language. This is a, a language uh, for modern information in, in humanities, and also we put all the data with this structure model in the Google Data Studio, which is a free uh, tool available uh, by, by Google, and we can create some uh, dynamic dashboard of the data and to share with other um, investigators in Brazil in order to uh, share some, some common uh, insights. We can see here the conceptual model in, in the first uh, place. Each box is a category or a class uh, that we have in mind in our data. So we have persons, uh, who person is working at what time on which institution, so for instance, police officers involved in the conflict and doctors and other kind of uh, actors, and also, of course, our unidentified bodies with information about the uh, main cause death, uh, medical information, location of the body, clothes, etc. Et uh, so, with this uh, information, we uh, have to put this data in the Google Data Studio, and uh, when we move from the conceptual area to the uh, real area <laughs> in the visual analytics, you have to uh, do some compromises. So we uh, think that maybe it's important to um, consider the time at this uh, moment as an independent variable. So this means that all our graphics that we are creating are changing dynamically in function of the, of the temporal information. So the, the research 
uh, information is fully all uh, in, in this time uh, dimension. Okay, and you, you can uh, see it right now. Uh, in addition, we try to parameterize some uh, <coughs> important information for us. So, for instance, we put an in and scale from one to five, uh, the degree of description of the bodies, because there are doctors that uh, uh, basically they don't put anything about their people. So uh, we have to uh, do some uh, description here from the undescribed, fully described, or uh, people that uh, are uh, um, describing, for instance, uh, identification of personal belongings that are important for the identification, like rings, wedding rings, or the size of the shoes, or things that maybe it's uh, a good idea to uh, follow this path for identification. Okay. So uh, the result analytic study we envision in three complementary views. Uh, the first one we call it individuals and include all the information related with the persons that are undescribed. So uh, information about the profile, agenda, age, uh, core skin, uh, all the kind of uh, information, and also the, the clothes and these personal belongings. The second one is called the repression system, and we try to model and to um, graphically working with these actors that I told you about who is the doctor and assigns this kind of uh, negligent report, and who is the police officer who is required these reports, etc. etc. And finally, we are uh, right now working on the landscape view, which is related with where the body is. Uh, this is the, how the dashboard that we create looks like. It, uh, we have the limitation of the Google Data Studio dashboard, okay? So maybe we uh, need some uh, other kind of graphs, but it's important for us to see that all this dashboard uh, are temporal dependent. So we have to change this uh, this um, period of time, and automatically, automatically we are analyzing a less number of cases of missing persons. And of course, all the demographics are changing dynamically uh, with this information. So the idea is that you can't uh, uh, see the data uh, period by period, or maybe to test some hypotheses or this kind of things. Okay? Uh, you can see here, for instance, the profile distribution in terms of age and gender. You can see here, for instance, uh, that you, we are very interested in seeing if, for instance, the gender is a uh, it's a key contact uh, here, so for instance, uh, the women uh, was less described than the men, or uh, all the other way, or these kind of things, okay? And you can see here, for instance, the evolution in time of number of people found and dressed in the, in, the, uh, in the street, or in the hospital, or this kind of thing. So, um, in the representative system view, we create two that's four. In the first one, we try to correlate actors in order to find some uh, uh, possible relation, but it's very hard because there are a lot of uh, police department involved, uh, police uh, police uh, officers involved, and also doctors. We try to correlate here the doctors with the police department that requires each uh, report in order to uh, answer some questions uh, about the connection between some police department and maybe some doctors and this kind of things. But it's quite difficult. Uh, we have seen uh, here. Um, 10 or 12 uh, most negligent doctor in terms of signing reports with less described information. So we have to, you have to remember that this people is alive, or maybe at least also familiar, so we have to anonymize all kind of, all kind of information. Okay? And finally, we can see here in this dashboard the correlation, which uh, you remember that the report is signed by two doctors, so we try to think that maybe uh, they have to work in first in some way. And uh, we are very happy here because uh, the, the visualization has seen emerging nation of correlation of person people sign this negligent reports. So maybe we are working on this person uh, <laughs> doctors. Uh, finally, we are just starting in the landscape area. Uh, Google that the studio is not a very good option of tool when we work with maps. Uh, they don't have a very good map based uh, analysis. So at this moment, we only have information about where the body was found. So, for instance, in, in a railway, in a train station, in the street, in a lake, or something like that, in order to establish some areas or clusters. But maybe we need some GIS based analysis here. Okay. Uh, so, in conclusion, uh, we observe a progressive anonymization 
of the of this uh, data and this uh, form through the use of that we call empty categories. So, for instance, to put dress or or address uh, instead of describing the, the clothes. Uh, also, uh, uh, empty descriptors like to put white t-shirt instead of describe the material, the size, maybe a brand, etc. Or to put public street instead of describing the uh, real location. Or to put, for instance, anemia as a main dead cause instead of putting that high, the, the body was not in blood or something like that. Okay. So these practices are continuously anonymization this, uh, of these people. Uh, it's impossible to go uh, in the other way to, to reconstruct the, the, the history of, of this. So it's, uh, the profiles are mainly focused on May 2050. Uh, on our in opinion, the cultural category, the races or the gender, uh, is not a factor that we observe that it's uh, affecting right now. But maybe uh, we need more data in order to go uh, deeper. Uh, Mm, we observe, of, of course, that this bureaucracy of debt uh, presents a lot of steps, so it's very easy to lose information between the police officer and then the doctor and then the second doctor and then the whatever, and also to lack some responsibility in this process. So again, it's very difficult to go back. Okay. Uh, the malpractice signals, of course, are in the data. We are very happy with this emerging island of cooperation because we um, allow us to track in some way this, this person and this correlation, okay, where uh, work these persons and uh, uh, his groups of people, etc. Uh, there are, of course, classic police and forensic information that are not covered, for instance, they, where the body was found or when, etc. And we also observe that this anonymization process becomes a norm on institutions, so maybe there are a lot of cases that are not related with the, with the repression or with the conflict. But are suffering this kind of practices because at the end it doesn't matter because we don't have any control. So it's so uh, for us, visual analytics uh, works uh, as a methodology to rethink again the data in a more graphic way and to interact and to uh, working with this dynamic analysis in temporal constraints. Uh, and uh, visual confirmation of some of our intuitions and we also reject some others. And also for detect future detection. For instance, uh, we are working right now on the oh, sorry, on the map-based analysis, personal of our city areas, in order to correlate the body location with the police districts. Uh, and we are trying to uh, perform some natural language processing analysis uh, in the most negative part of the of the report because sometimes, for instance, uh, doctors create some narrative about the main death cause and this kind of thing, so maybe it's important to uh, search for this language of repression in order to uh, find these empty categories and empty descriptors that I told you. So, uh, of course, it's interesting to see if these same repression practices are the same in other conflicts, context or not, for instance, the Spanish Civil War, which is a context that we work on, um, or other kind. Conflict, conflict of civil wars in, in, that we have data about it. So, thank you very much. Um, I'll try to ask, answer all these questions. Uh, I have here, I don't know if I have time. Yeah, sure. Sure. okay. I have here uh, this link that I can sh share with you uh, because we have uh, online here the, the dashboard so we can interact, or for instance, to put here, I don't know. Or the kind of uh, period, and automatically, of course, the, the dashboard is uh, char charging all, all the data with less um, a number of cases, etc. So we have less number of cases and all the information. And also, for instance, here we can see the correlation between these doctors and these doctors and how the emerging exam are changing in time, etc. So, so if you are interested, I can uh, share with you the. So, that's it. So, thank you.